Hi there, Sign of Taurus. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for November 2021. Hope you're doing really good, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're interested in a private reading, I'm offering those for donation at this time. So always we ask that your angels, your spirit guides, come and give us messages for your highest timeline. Sign of Taurus. Sign of Taurus for... November 2021. Hmm. Having a hard time getting something going, aren't I? Finally. Whew. New moon in Pisces. Attuned to the divine. New moon in Pisces. Attune to the divine. All right. <clears throat> Attune to the divine. It says you have the opportunity to slip into the flow of life right now. Um, meditation will be the best way to connect with your higher self. Um, it says, be kind to yourself and others. This card is good, especially good for matters re related to spirituality, contacting other realms, or taking time out, or dealing with a fear. The more you can believe that all is well, the more... All will be well for you. My conscious dreams create my reality. My conscious dreams create my reality. All right. So, new moon in Pisces. Nice card. Nice card. Let's see. Clear the deck for Taurus. What messages do you have for them? This is the intuitive life coaching oracle that I'm going to use. It's a really good oracle. I think. Seven, one, two. Now let's do eight for prosperity here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Prosperity and abundance. For prosperity and abundance, what do we have? I have 59 positive life changes. Positive life changes are ahead if you choose to trust in this process. Positive life changes. The journey, 54, which is going to be about number nine, letting go and accepting endings, right? You are learning that every challenge you face has a hidden gift inside. Yes. And it's almost like a, something that was hidden from you comes into view after these challenges too. Number seven or 16, approval. Choose to approve of yourself and others will too, so watch out for the harsh criticism on yourself and others. 44, synchronicities. They're saying if you notice more, just notice them. You don't have to look for them. Just noticing the synchronicities, being paying attention to your surroundings um, and being aware of how you're feeling and how your body feels. It says allow the magic to unfold as synchronistic events lead you to a new direction, 44 meaning you're on the right path no matter how much it feels like you aren't. Number three, self-love, the catalyst. And you know it's neat. Number three is associated with the catalyst number, making things happen. And um, self-love definitely makes things start moving in your life. So you are learning that your capacity to love others is directly related to your ability to love yourself. 20, spiritual teacher. You are being guided to step into your role as a spiritual teacher. 26, rejoicing. You have learned how to make the most out of life. 
and 36 or 9 perception. You are getting ready to have a shift in perception that will change everything. Getting ready to have a shift in perception that will change everything. Nice. All right, I'm going to get one more oracle and then we're going to get into the tarot. Um, this is the inner child oracle. For Taurus, November 2021. It is time to give. It is time to treat yourself or others to something magical, mystical, and fantastical. What the treat consists of is not as important as spirit in which it is enjoyed. When thinking of the perfect something, reflect on how it would make you feel. Does it connect connect you to your feelings of wonder and joy? And if so, you've got a winner. So it's all about how we feel. With what we're connected to. All right. Clear the deck for Taurus. Let's get messages for them in general for November 2021. For Taurus. Concert Cross for Taurus. All right, this is the issue. This is the challenge. Okay, you have the strength to overcome any situation that you are in, that you that you find yourself in. And this is the card of overcoming, of overcoming any shortcomings that you feel are shortcomings, because they aren't. They that's just a self-imposed limiting belief. Ten of Swords here is about, um, really, it's about a deep, deep rest, and then uh, a rebirth is due. And it does take strength and courage um, to overcome these challenges, but you certainly can, and you can have a rebirth in your consciousness after this, too. So it's kind of looking like the dark night of the soul, to tell you the truth, or I guess you, you could word it that way. Okay, at the root, or the heart of the matter... Yeah, okay. The Emperor with the King of Pentacles. So I feel like whoever was over like finances, um, household finances, whoever was committed to that, um, there's kind of an air of using a strategy that's fear based and it does that doesn't work. So the foundation is not strong. We do have I don't know if this this is actually a positive card though. The King of Pentacles is really good at business. On the other hand, they may be really good at business. And they may be, you know, committed to their family. But yet again, fear. Something out of fear. Aries energy, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Past energy. The Six of Swords. You were taking a journey, mental journey, moving away uh, towards something else. And what you didn't know is you're leading towards more thinking that leads you led you straight to um, deciding that this you had to be reborn from something. Something had to die. The old you that could die had to die. The now. The now moment. The sun. Wow, you got a strong Leo in your reading, Taurus. We have the sun. This is like all um, good growth, positive signs. It makes things grow. It's the most positive card in the deck. And it especially to be at the top of a reading, it's that's kind of really nice for it to be there. Yeah, it's lighting up the whole reading. It's illuminating things for you. The near future energy. Ten of Wands. And see, it's like, you, okay, yeah, you're leaving. You're leaving this... Um, energy behind where you felt like you had to do everything all the time like truly you're leaving that energy behind and you're getting assistance from maybe a partner is something um, where you're not doing all the work and you're able to lighten your load and it's actually i'm viewing it as really positive here 10 10 temperance have patience positive life changes are coming wow how do you feel um, well, like something's not quite fair yet. 
And it, it may have to do with how something had to crumble. It might not seem fair. Something might not seem fair. Or justice in general, uh, misuse of power, that might be an issue. You know what I'm saying? So this is how we are feeling. It's like um, that something still needs to be justified, I guess. Or balanced out. In the environment, two of pentacles, that's the change that comes in. So that's currently what's happening right now is this big change. And they recommend going moment to moment with the two of pentacles through this change to lighten your load as it landed right here with that ten of wands energy. So, so that's balancing. That's doing it. That's making it. No matter what, it's making it. Hopes and fears, or hopes or fears. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse to lose some luxuries that Taurus is used to. That would be a fear, though, so don't worry about that. Or to have somebody step out on a commitment, like a mother figure. It's, that's that's still just a fear, though it's not a truth. Okay, the outcome for Taurus, have the Empress in reverse. Attaching the Ten of Wands to the King of Pentacles. So, it may have to do with a mother. There is hope that something is going to be fixed, repaired, rebirthed. Um, a mother-child relationship, possibly. This Page of Cups might be a new beginning in, in that rebirth. Because that's what this feels like. is like a rebirth, either of your creation or of like... Um, mother energy yeah use your intuition here this is really hopeful ten of pentacles because you're going after your ten of pentacles all right so use your intuition about this yeah use your intuition let me get um so i have the empress in reverse so i mean you maybe have an issues with with a mother that that might be something it might be pisces we have pisces with the high priestess here um or capricorn energy it seems like capricorn leo and pisces are connected to yeah leo leo twice what else can you give us for this outcome to trust themselves about the five of cups letting go of disappointments and regrets you couldn't possibly do everything here. You couldn't possibly. What else? This outcome? Oh, 1010. It is time. Hanged woman in reverse. It is time for something to get moving. Working on your family legacy at the Ten of Pentacles that are in reverse. So something, um, working on that. And look, Knight of Swords, that is the change. Like the Two of Pentacles is indicating change in the environment. And then there's change right here. Something could be changed up. It's whatever you are focused on getting, it's like you're going to get it. You're focused and you're intent and you're going to get there. And won't be intimidated by fear tactics. Even if you have to do something by yourself with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so with the tea leaves for Taurus, I'm going to wrap up your reading. There's a Virgo 2 energy present, possibly. Seahorse, family matters. Sunrise, there's Leo energy again. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. This is my favorite one. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Candle, you will be shown the way. And torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Thank you so much. Sending you light and love. Bye, guys.